Good morning, everybody. We are back on the front porch today. And because autumn started a few days ago, we are going to turn this front porch into more of an autumn look. So to start with, I brought out my autumn wreath. And over the years, I've added different things to it. And I'm probably going to add a few pheasant feathers that I got from a friend a couple of years ago that will just add another little touch to it. So I added just a few. I had a little one that I stuck in right here. You can barely see it. But then I just put three in here of the pheasant feathers. So I don't want to overpower it just to add a nice little touch to it. And now we're going to hang it on the door. And there we go. So you can see the pheasant feathers, the three that I put right here. And I just stuck a little odd one right there. I, if I have another one, I'm not exactly the kind of person that likes a lot of symmetry. I like asymmetry. So I'm not worried about having one by itself over here. It's a small one, just adds a little touch. But I think that looks really nice. I'm now in my garage at my potting bench. Yesterday, I went to a big box store and I found these beautiful yarrows. I have tried to grow yarrow from seed in my flower garden in the back and for whatever reason I haven't had a whole lot of success and they had these big beautiful ones and I thought they would be very pretty on the front porch. They kind of have a autumn look to them even though they're a little pinkish and cream. I just think they have a little bit of an autumn look to them and they are perennials which I, I like planting perennials in my pots as much as I can so I don't have to continually replace plants. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna plant these two yarrow. And let me see if I can find the tag, tell you if it tells me exactly what they are. Sometimes these ones that you get at the big box stores don't give you the variety and this one doesn't. It just says yarrow. So this one actually is cold. These are cold hardy to minus 30 degrees. We won't have any problem with them being in our pots because we have never, since we've lived here in the 15 years, never gotten to minus 30 degrees and I hope we never do. The next step is I will put these, plant these into the pots on the front porch. Now that they're out of the garage, you can kind of get, get a better look at them. Let me show you the colors up close. I just think it's so pretty. And here's this one. So I think it'll look really good with everything else on my front porch. And I pulled the other pots forward since these like more light. It says full sun. And of course, as I've mentioned before, full sun, doesn't mean full sun everywhere. If you live in a climate like mine, in the high desert where our sun is pretty intense, usually plants need a little bit of shade in the afternoon. And here you can see it's late morning and they've already got shade, but they will get what I call indirect light. They're not gonna be in complete darkness. So I think they'll be fine. This may be a little bit of a test but that's what I'm going to do. I'm gonna plant these in there. And because I got large ones, I decided I don't think I need any other plants in there. I may change my mind and add some more later. But interestingly enough, when I went to the store, I had in mind what I wanted to put in here and it I never thought of yarrow. I actually wanted to do some of the ornamental cabbage and was looking for something else like pansies. I saw the yarrow, I changed my mind because I thought it was so pretty. I knew it was a perennial 
and I figured I like to try different things. So that's what we're going to do. I'm gonna plant these in these pots and I'll show you what it all looks like when we're done. I do have some other fall decorations that I'm going to add out here too and you can leave me a comment at the end and tell me what you think. I'm starting with these pots and they've been empty for a while and I am gonna to need to add a little more potting soil to them because it has sunken over time. Then I'll just start potting these up. Now I'm going to fertilize this and I do add a little bit of miracle Grow all-purpose fertilizer to my water. Even though yarrow doesn't need a lot of fertilizer, I'm going to do it first thing to get it a good head start. And now just to add an extra touch to my pots, I'm going to clip some of this purple heart that are in my urns and I am going to stick it into the pots with the yarrow. It will root. Hopefully it'll have time to root because we are, although this week we're warm, we're getting to our cooler season, but that will just add another touch to the pot. And before I plant them in the pots, I'm going to remove the bottom leaves. And then I will use my finger to stick a hole into the pot and then push that down in there. And that's it. And the final whimsical touch on my porch is this little scarecrow that hangs over the pot that my mother gave to me many, many years ago. So other than the wet spots where I watered, I've cleaned it all up and here's the final look of the front porch for autumn. Let me know what you think. I hope you've enjoyed this video and are enjoying the fall weather. Have a great day. Thanks for watching.